Hey boo, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this kind of jack-o'-lantern, spotlight, smoky eye, glam for Halloween. It's kind of scary, kind of ghoulish, but all around bad bitch. So let's get into it. Hey! So first I'm going to be going in with my eyebrows. I'm just filling in the base and then just combing up the top hairs just to make them kind of furry and then cleaning up with some concealer. And then I'm going in with my foundation. I want to use something full coverage but I'm basically focusing that in the middle of my face and just taking the excess on my chin and mouth area. I'm going to be drawing my mouth on later in that area so I'm not trying to put on too much foundation. I need all the bags and all of the imperfection underneath my eyes, so I'm just focusing my concealer on my chin, my nose, and my forehead, and then going in with some ghoulish dimension with my black eyeliner and my gray um, brow gel. And then I'm going to go ahead and start blending that out. This is just going to give me some dimension, but make me look quite dead and ill. You know the drill. Going in with my Shani palette, I love this thing. I'm gonna start taking this orange shade and working that into my crease. You guys know the drill. I do this in pretty much every tutorial, but this is just gonna create a transition shade when I start doing all of my other eyeshadows. I have done a wearable spotlight smoky eye tutorial and I will link that in the description box below and above, so make sure you check that out. Going in with some black eyeshadow and kind of flicking it out on the outer corners and then focusing it on the inner corner. This is going to give it kind of a cat-like appearance, which I always love to do. And then I'm going to take this plummy brown shade and work that in the middle. You just want to go back and forth with blending and adding color. That way it gives you more depth and dimension. Once that's done, I'm gonna go in with the middle shade. I will have that listed below. You just wanna pat that on in the middle. And then I'm gonna take a red shade and kinda of go on the seams of that black and gold just to make it blend better and give it a little bit more dimension and color. I wanna start flicking down my inner corners and then I'm gonna start doing a really thin but long winged eyeliner. I still want you guys to be able to see the eyeshadow work that we've done, so don't make it too thick. And then you wanna start filling in the lower lash line with just a gold pencil and then that same eyeshadow that we put in the middle of the lid. making a little wing on the inner corner and on the outer corner, but I'm not connecting it through the middle. Instead, I'm gonna start putting down my black eyeshadow. I'm kind of making it into a triangle shape of like a jack-o'-lantern would look. I'm just taking some brown eyeshadow on a fluffy brush and kind of hitting the seam so that it's blended. And then, of course, highlighting that brow bone because my brows look extra good today. <laughs> I'm going over the places where I put that black pencil with kind of a gray-brown shade. And then I'm going to add in more dimension with the black just so that I look extra ghoulish, extra dead, and at the end of my life. This little pack of paints was probably about six bucks at Michael's. I'm just going to take that and a little sponge, as you can see, and start picking little pieces of it out and then start stippling that onto my face. This is going to create more dimension and kind of a texture um, so that it looks like a pumpkin, kind of like something has been going onto the surface of the skin. You don't want it to look painted on. With white paint, it's really easy to go in and fix any mistakes. So I'm just gonna take that and start plotting out my teeth and going over any mistakes that I've made with the orange. I'm trying to just focus on moving my head 
instead of my brush because that way it gives me a straighter line and I don't have to worry about skipping and going over the same line over and over again. Once that's plotted out, I'm gonna take my black gel liner. I'm gonna start going over those white lines to cover it up. Again, you just wanna move your head and not so much the brush. That way you get a straighter line. Black paint didn't really work out in this case, so I just went in with the eyeliner and a flat brush and started filling that in so that it's completely black over my lips and throughout the entire mouth. To get rid of that shiny appearance, I'm putting over a black eyeshadow on top of that gel eyeliner. This is going to get rid of any streaks or skips that I did while I was filling it in. As for the tears, you just want to take any excess black that you had on that previous brush and I'm going to start dragging it down my eyes and then I'm going to take some water and start dripping it over that area. It's gonna make it like I've been crying and not just that it's been painted on. It gives it kind of a runny paint look. Doing that over and over and over again and mixing in some of that eyeliner to make black tears. I also ran that over the chin and jaw area just so that it looks cohesive and it was running all the way down my face and not just stopping at the mouth portion add your lashes and of course you are all done I really like this look I'm always a fan of a spotlight smoky eye so I wanted to give it a little twist with some ghoulish jack-o-lantern action if you like it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe babe. love you guys bye